I so stop. Relax. Scenes footage tape. Footage! Okay, so D, tell me a little bit about what's going on and what you're doing. Well, pretty much we uh, shot this music video on high definition. Bobos! <laughs> um, Al, tell me about what you're doing. I'm currently setting up um, just a little pre viz shot. Why have you got a drum suit in your hand? Uh, I play the drums and uh, sometimes I feel a bit lonely. Here we can take a look at some of the dynamics that Al is setting up for dynamics. the video. He is using 3D Studio Max so. and he is generating the water, water particle system which rises up out of the water. And from Do you, you realize that when you talk about the effect stuff, you talk about that guy? No? You talk like that guy on the Lord of the Rings DVD. <laughs> Oh, what's up? What's his name? The guy that speaks with style. Richard Taylor. Richard Taylor. You speak like Richard Taylor. <laughs> he speaks like a monk. <laughs> Al is busy at work, dude. He's drawing the bit inlay of the EP. Yes. Yeah, you know, get that That's one. Very good. This one of PK with Samar sort. Oh yeah. Future style. I like that a lot. This one is a dude with a plugged into the main phone. Business style. So we got three characters going here? Yeah, three characters. Um, this one is like uh, the angel of, of sandwiches. <laughs> and uh, he's pressing the button for the sandwich. Is he pressing the nuke? The nuke? Right now, I'm doing a process called match moving, where basically every element within the video that needs to be burnt, i.e., all the instruments, needs to be given a replica 3D model. Here you can see the Telecaster and here the Explorer base. I go through, create these models, and then track their motion to the motion of what's actually happening in the video. Um, I toyed with setting fire to Omar's head, but uh, he wasn't happy about it. What about putting his drum sticks on fire? Good point, man. Uh, maybe I'll do that if someone uh, buys me a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm in a hedge. <coughs> Here we are at Horsey in the Hedge Studios. I'd like to take a moment to speak to Alex Gingell about some of the visual effects. Well, I think there are probably three or four kind of different kinds of effects in the video, and um, one of them would be the kind of sort of glowing spark, sort of debris that floats down around Charlie in the in the sort of spotlight, and one would be the water droplets that rise up around Al, and then there will be. <laughs> Explodes into life and kind of fights the band at the very end of the video. 
And then, <laughs> then there would also be the uh, the instruments that catch fire during the end of the video. Yeah, like, look under there. There's like we've got six or seven towers in here now. Checking my tower. I'm checking out Alex's tower. <laughs> 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 What's the question? Dude? You're not a very good interview. You I'm sorry. just so blown away by all the <laughs> schnitzel going on. Your interviewing technique is poor. Your skills are lacking. So, what's the future <laughs> for Horsey and the Hedge after you've done this production? Uh, the future for Horsey is looking bright at the moment. We have got a couple more promos on the horizons. Uh, one for a band called Lariso. One for a band I'm probably not allowed to mention yet. Uh, maybe a feature, a couple of short films, including Twig Fury 2, that you need to download from our site, oh, horseyinthehedge.com. Uh, I was just going to say, I'd just like to apologise for the poor quality and general lack of skill in these behind-the-scenes yeah. uh, segments. Are you dissing my behind-the-scenes technique? Yeah. And um, I'll Shut that. the hell up, there's no poor quality here, this is like amazing. Check it out, see? <laughs> what could you want? Well, what else would you want to watch? <laughs> <Damn. laughs>